so it was bad because I, I didn't enjoy it. But it would be better. I mean, aquí uno de los amortiguadores. Good evening. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, teacher. Hi, I'm Cindy. Right now I'm driving. I'm sorry. It's okay. Julia, can you hear me? I was talking about something strange topic. Hey. Gabby, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. Ay, esta mano no me da chance, ven. Denme chancecito. Adrian, oh. can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, teacher. Good, very good. Welcome back. Thank you. How was your weekend? Well, it was fine. I have um, a custom party last Friday. Really? <laughs> yeah. In your house or in your office? No, no, it's, uh, it was in, um, in a, 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 a partner, co-worker co house. Oh, okay. W was it in San Salvador? Yes, it was. Good. What time did it finish? Well, it, uh, it was finished around 11 o'clock. Okay, good. Did you dance? <laughs> no, it's, it, it was a, a a type of meeting of you. You have only listened to music. Good evening. Hello, Rodrigo. Drink. Hello. Okay, good. It's good that you have a a customs party from time to time. <laughs> yeah. All right. Good. So, welcome back, everybody. I hope you have a, you have rested and you have new batteries. Teacher, yesterday it was my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Did you celebrate? A little bit. Okay, how did you celebrate, Cindy? With my family, just with my family and my pets. Okay. Good, and today good. my partner uh, gave me a cake. Oh, good. That's so, good. So, but uh, I want him to be on the beach. Okay. Maybe next maybe, week. Yeah, or no, maybe the next year. <laughs> okay. Well, but it's never too late to celebrate. No, it's never too late. I. I uh, I hope your uh, gift teacher maybe a gift card. Sure. <laughs> From my classmate. <laughs> sure, when I see you. <laughs> Thank All you. All right. So let's officially begin. Um, let's start with a quick um, fast review. Um, can you mention some of the things we did last class? Next. Ah, uh, the topic is the report of speech. The zero and infinity. All right. Um, I don't, teacher, I didn't understand the question. Can you repeat, please? Because I'm driving. Yeah, that, that was the question. Uh, can you mention some of the activities we did in last class? Uh, we, we, uh, the last week, we talked about the, some uh, nature phenomenon. How do you pronounce phenomenon? Phenomenon. Phenomena, like earthquake and, and right. I don't remember, how do you say the room? Okay, slides. Okay. Ricardo, what do you remember, Ricardo? 
I remember that we uh, studied about questions, for example, uh, about weather, favorite, favorite weather, and for example, different countries with different, different weathers. Very good, thank you. Teresa, what do you remember? I remember the reported speech. Okay, and what is reported speech, Freddy? Freddy, can uh, you hear evening. me? Yes, teacher. Good okay, evening. Can, can you refresh our memories and tell us what reported speech is? Uh, it's when we want to repeat what someone had previously said. Good, very good. Do you change the message when you tell another person? No, just no. change the sense. Good, yes, the message stays the same. Grammatically speaking, you're supposed to um, change the structure that you're using. But remember yes. what I told you in a real conversation, don't be surprised if the person tells another one exactly the same words that he or she heard, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, anything else about last class? Okay, I think we're gonna have to mute her. All right, anyways, um, any questions before we start? No? No. No. Okay, let's see. Da, da, da. I want to make sure that everybody can. Lourdes, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. How are you? Fine, thanks. Fernando, can you hear me? <laughs> Federico, can you hear me? Federico Melendez? Yes, yes okay, I can. Good. Mario Bolaños, are you there? Yes, I am. Okay, uh, Martin Noches? Yes, teacher, I can hear you. Rodrigo? Yes, teacher. Adrian? Yes, yeah, I'm here. Gabby? Yes, I can. Okay. I know that Cindy hears me well. Yes, I can hear you well. Okay. <laughs> Freddy, are you there? Okay, Gilberto Guzman, can you hear me? Yes, perfectly. Well, Teresa and Ricardo, we already spoke. Okay, so let's begin. Um, Today's class is a review of a topic you guys have seen uh, several times before. Um, and that is the, the differences between the simple past and the present perfect. How many tenses do we have? How many tenses do we have all together, class? Well, we have twelve. twelve. And remember, every 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 tense oh. has a different structure. Every tense has a different function. So the first activity, before we do any explanation, I'm going to make groups and listen carefully. You guys will talk exclusively about the activities you did on the weekend. So we're not gonna discuss simple past. We will use simple past. You see what I mean? Yes. All right. So let me make the groups and all you're gonna have to do is talk about the different activities you did on the weekend. When, when someone is talking, make questions related to the information so you guys apply positives, negatives, in question form. Ready? Yes. Let's do this. So we got 15 people, let's make five. Here we go. Start talking. Okay. Hi, Fernando Lourdes and Rodrigo. Talk about your week. Hi. Okay. Uh, first, good evening. 
Um, I I was um, I was uh, studying about um, about fi financial uh, all all the past week because um, because um, yesterday uh, I I make a. Uh, I, I made made a, a proof or a quiz. Okay. Fernando okay. Lourdes. Yes. Okay. Well, uh, on Saturday, I went to university. Uh, I had to to make some uh, homework also. Then I. I, I came back to my home and I tried to, to rest, but I had to do a lot of things uh, for my job also. Uh, and well, yesterday I just went to the Parque Suscatlan with my kid. Oh, how is uh, it? Uh, it was very good, very nice. <laughs> Since, okay. Uh, yesterday I felt it was too hot here in my house. I decided to, to, to go with my wife. And where, my where do you live, Fernando? I live in Mexicanos. Okay, good. How did you go to Parque Cuscatlan? I went uh, in my car. Very good. Nice. Lower this. Hi, I want to go to Parque Cuscatlan. <laughs> But well, on Saturday, no, on Friday, I was uh, I was uh, working at the platform with the exercise, and but I had to 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 search for my English book textbook, my old English textbook to to remember the tenses because. Uh, I forgot uh, many many tenses. Okay. So, so I, I I had to to remember that. Okay. Good. Very good. Okay. Keep talking. I'll come back to you guys. Okay. Keep talking. On Sunday. Saturday on Sunday to the gym. Yeah. To the gym. Okay. Plus, nice. In the, in the a, a muscle guy. A muscle guy, a strong guy. Are you calling me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I don't have time in the week. During the week. During the week. Oh, nice. So I, I use the weekend for that. We're in, going to the gym. Where's the gym, Mario? Where is it located? In San Miguelito. Oh, is that uh, Gold's Gym coach, or coach, coach, gym. coach? Coach Gym, Samuel. Yeah, it's in front of Maria Auxiliadora. Yes, in front of. Okay, good, good. And and Teresa, what do you do? Well, I worked on Saturday morning, and uh, I was telling them that I went to buy some Chinese food for lunch. Here in Santa Ana, there is a, a little restaurant, and the Chinese food is very delicious. Where? I was in Santa Ana Saturday and Sunday. Really? Yeah. It's close. It's close to to Cine Principal. Cine you know? Principal? No. Yeah. Um. Claro. Offices in the um, in downtown. Uh, yes. It's almost in front of Claro. Okay. It's a very little restaurant, but the food is very delicious. Oh, good to know. You know, because we ate, because we went on Saturday, okay. and we went to the cathedral. Oh, and it's very were, close. And there were uh, different kiosks selling food. Yes, and yes because it was, it was the Jocote de Corona Festival. Oh, okay. Yes. Fine. I bought, I bought um, uh, a tol de Jocote. Really? Yes, it was very delicious. I never tried that one before. 
<laughs> yes, it was hot and it, it was very delicious. Good, good, nice. Oh, I only oh. have tried the juice of how good. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, the drink. But in this case, drink. In this case, it was at all. Nice. Okay, yes. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. <laughs> And what, uh, what else? I, I celebrate uh, my birthday with my family, with my father, and also with my grandmother and my pets too. We, what do you do for your birthday? We, uh, we, my family just did uh, a lunch. We ate pizza and cake. Well, happy birthday, by the way. I think it's so. I have to better it too. Now the question is the question is where, where is the cake? Where is the cake? In my stomach, teacher, or maybe in the bar fruit? <laughs> I'm sorry, teacher, I'm very sincere. <laughs> and uh, also I had a, no, another case uh, back my my car. That okay. was the my gift from my partner in my work. Okay, good. What about you, Karen? How was your weekend? Hi, Pete. Uh, much better. I was sick last, last week. Okay. Are you better now? So, I'm so sorry. It was okay. <coughs> yeah, I can sorry. speak now. Good, good, good. Yes. Uh, are and you still taking medicine or something? Well, uh, the doctor said it was vital. So I'm just I'm just taking Bye. some uh, syrup for the the throat and some I don't know pills for for the pain, but that's all. Okay. And sometimes when I talk too much and I'm always talking, <laughs> so I I get voiceless. But okay, it, so you have to be careful. Just for a month, yeah. Okay, so but yeah. It's okay. Okay, good, nice. Okay, I'll see you guys in a few minutes. I'll be back. Okay. Okay. Teacher, so do you I'll... disintegrate the group? <laughs> Not the company. Uh, I have a second job as a driver. Okay. What kind of driving do you do? Uh, has in, in the platforms, in the in, in the, uh, the platforms. No, but, no, but somebody mentioned that he, he was an extra, had a second job as a driver. Yeah, me. Oh, you. What kind of driving, Jose? Uh... As a, a freelancer. Okay, but when you say driving, you mean uh, a taxi? Right there. Right there. Right there. I, said, I said driver. Right, but when you say driver? Vancouver. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. okay, okay, good. All right, so we'll come back to the main session right now. Okay. Hello. Okay. So when you guys were talking about the different things you did on the weekend, you were using simple past tense. I went, I visited, I washed. I went to the beach, I finished my homework, everything was past. Now, how do you make questions in the simple past? Anybody? You did you do anything? You said did. Auxiliary very, did. Very good. You use auxiliary did. What happens to the main verb? Is it present? Present or sure base asking. form? Base, base form. form. Base, base form. form, yes. Yeah. So you use auxiliary did and the form of the verb is well, base form. 
Now, mm -hmm. what happens when the information is negative? What? What happens when the information is negative? What's the auxiliary we use? Not didn't, don't, and didn't. Past tense, past tense. Uh -huh. uh, past, uh, didn't. 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 And what happens to the main verb? Uh, uh, remain the regular. Base form. Base form. Base form. That is the correct word. Base form. Base form. Now, so that is the simple pass. Yes. Today, <laughs> we're going to discuss uh, the differences between the simple past and the present perfect. Uh, what do you remember about the present perfect? Uh, the present perfect is. It refers to an action that began in the past and remains. Okay, good. Yes, something that you start in the past and still remains uh, in present, right? Um, now, what's the auxiliary we use when we talk about uh, present perfect? Have, has, have, have, has, and uh, have and has. Lourdes, what's the difference between have and has? Uh, have is, it, it, it depends the pronoun. Uh, yeah. Have is used, it, it used for... To a person. Uh, uh -huh. I, you, uh, we, the person. we, and they, uh -huh. person. Right, so remember, have and has, they have exactly the same function. The only difference is the personal pronoun that you mentioned. Now, yeah. if you compare the present perfect with the simple past, the present perfect is easier. Why? Because with the present perfect, whether the information is positive, negative, or question, the form of the verb is always the same. It's always the same. So you okay. said, I have eaten too much. I have eaten too much. I ate uh, two hamburgers, so I have eaten too much. If I want to use the negative form, I will say, I haven't eaten much. And the form of the verb is the same. If I want to make a question, I will say, Mr. Bides, have you eaten dinner yet? And, and I yes. use the same form. No, I haven't in my case. Okay, yes, so, I have. No, I haven't. Right. Now, uh, do, there are certain words uh, that we use when we're using the, the present perfect. Do you remember the differences between yet and already? It means complete. Uh, at the beginning or at the end of the sentence? Which one, Federico? Uh, already at the beginning. Yet at the end. Okay. Uh, yet, like Federico is saying, yet is always at the end. Already can be at the beginning, it can be in the middle, or it can be even at the mm -hmm. end. So you can play with different positions when you're using already. Now, when you're using yet, it's always at the end. Okay. okay. And normally when you are, okay. when we are giving an answer. Uh, and the same thing when, when, when you're giving an answer, right. So um, what about just? Do you remember the function of just? Just. No, I, no, no, I don't. No, I don't. It, it just wait. Okay, uh, for example, uh, justification. Uh, or indicate when something happened recently. Exactly. Thank you. Uh, you see the example that I have in the chat? Yeah, I have no, just I have eaten. a teacher. Okay, I but have just eaten. eaten. I have just but, eaten. How do you say that example in Spanish? Now when you so when you say I have just oh, the word just indicates that this eaten recently happened. 
you recently okay. Just, okay. Or you can say... She has just arrived. Uh, Ella acaba de llegar. Uh, yes. She has just arrived. So that means, Thank that, you. means that, uh, uh, that the action is recent. Okay. okay. Any questions here? Hola, abuelita. Hola, Any abuela. Questions? All right. So listen to this. Uh, so basically, when we talk about the simple past, we're talking about yes. something that is already yes. finished. Yes. Something that is already finished. And with the present perfect, you're talking about something that is not finished yet. Got it? Remember, we have 12 tenses. Every tense has a different structure. Every tense has a different function. So simple past, something that is finished, present perfect, something that you began in the past, you're still doing. So in other words, it's not finished. Are we okay? I yeah. think so. All right, so give me a second. I'm going to share something with you, a document, so you guys can discuss it. Do you see it? Yeah. Yeah. Past simple and uh, simple uh, present, present perfect. perfect. Okay, so there you have it. If you see it here, um, on top of the paper, yeah. uh, we have a few points that you guys need to remember. So can somebody please read the first part? Okay, a simple form. We add EG to all regular verbs. Irregular verbs must be learned by her. Very good. Her. So what is the message here? There is no way you will know if a verb is regular or irregular. It's just practice. It's just practice. Now, something very important. Remember that ED has three different sounds. We have T and N. Uh, we use the simple past for something that is finished. We use the present perfect for something that is not finished yet. Okay, you guys ready for the exercise? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, you have to decide if, if, if the exercise, if the answer is uh, present perfect or the simple Let me send this to you guys. My goodness, it sounds like a, like the police department. <laughs> Show me your ID. What are you doing here? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I can go out. No, it's okay. It's, it's fine. I'm just playing. Okay, so open rooms and here we go. Answer that. Okay. Do you see the document? No. It's in, oh. your, it's in, it's in the chat. Okay. Uh, I see. Okay. Okay, so discuss the answers. Okay. Okay. Simple past or I simple? saw the I saw in the town last week. It's a regular verb. Simple past. Okay. Have 
the second one, have you ever met her brother? Have you yes. ever met her brother? Yes. Met. Met. The, the yes, third, have you ever met? Where oh. have you been last weekend? Where have you been last weekend? Now remember, uh, when you're using the present perfect, you cannot mention when. If you want to mention when, then you have to main, you have to use the simple past. Oh. Okay. So what would where, be the correct answer? Where, where have are you, you? Where have you been? Uh uh Remember, if if you're going to mention a time expression, you have to use the simple past. Yes. Where, where, you... where were you was? No, where were you were? Ah, uh -uh. somebody help uh, Fernando, Rodrigo, Lourdes. What will be the correct form to say donde estuviste el fin de semana pasado? Where do where where you no where, where do you... where you were last week? Ah, you... uh ah. -uh. Well, okay, what are the three forms that we have for verb to be in present? Ah. Are, is, I'm. Okay, am, is? Are. Am, is, are. What are the forms that we have for, for past? Um, was, where? Was, okay. where? was were now remember it's not where it's were were uh-huh were were so where were you where were you in last weekend where were you last weekend where were was you last weekend uh-huh where were you be last weekend okay Okay, what about the others? I'll be back. Have you seen Kathleen? Oh, no. Hello, girls and boys. I was lost. <laughs> I don't know what happened you are. my internet Okay, connection. which one are you doing? Which question are you doing right Number now? seven. Okay. Number seven. Number six. Ah, number seven. Okay. What? What did you What did you do? What did you do last weekend? Last weekend. Mm -hmm. last weekend. It's, it is correct. What did you do? Mm -hmm. What did you Number do? eight. That repaired the car. You can. That, that has repaired. Ah, with. That has repaired. Ah, yes. Has repaired. The the now, mm -hmm. now uh, one, one, one small observation. Uh, there will be cases like number eight where the two options sound perfect. So you can say that fixed the car. You can use it now. Or if you prefer, you can also say that has repaired the car. You can use it now. The two options mm -hmm. are good. Okay. okay. Number six is the same. Uh, let's see. Yes. Exactly. Agatha. Exactly. Yes. I bought a lot of. Yeah. A lot this year, and I have bought a lot of this year. Number nine. Agatha, Agatha Christie mm -hmm. lived. Live from, from, from uh, 1890 to 1966. 1976. Number 10. Rodrigo, I mean, Rodrigo, Granny, Mario. Granny, Granny Steel. Ah, Steel. Hasn't, hasn't found. Hasn't found. Yes. Yeah, okay. Hasn't found. I mean, I and 11? Where did you? Where? 
porque yo vine tarde. Did you buy? Did you buy? Or where have you bought? Okay. Number six. I love clothes. Clothes. I. Maribel, welcome back. Hi. <laughs> Hi. I'm late, but I'm here. It's okay. Better late than never. Uh huh. Thank you. Which number are number you doing six. right now? Number six. six. I love clothes. I bought a lot this year. I present perfect. Teacher is present yes. perfect number six. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, there will be times where the two tenses are perfect. I mean, the two, the two different tenses are okay. So number six is an example where you say, I love clothes. I've, I have bought a lot this year. Or you can say, I bought a lot this year. However, mm -hmm. remember that this year is not finished yet. So mm -hmm. present perfect sounds much better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Number seven. One. Did you get home it last is. night? Did you get? It is correct. I think it is correct. What time did you get? Which which number? Eleven. I know thirteen. Thirteen. Um, okay. So is it is it simple past or present perfect? Thirteen. Simple uh, past. Simple past. Yeah, simple past. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fourteen. So it is correct if I said what time did you get home last night? Sure. That's exactly the answer. Okay. okay. My God, I hate grammar. <laughs> <laughs> what about 14, Karen? Oh my God. 14 and my Oh, All Karen. Right? Karen, I remember that you mentioned that you couldn't be talking much. Yeah, but I, as I told you, teacher, I'm talking all the time. Okay, so <laughs> are, are you okay with speaking now? Yeah, I'm okay. okay. All right, good. It is better if I, I go to the work tomorrow and I'm voiceless. Oh. <laughs> yes. All right. I'll be back. Uh, I don't, about this one, I don't know because the verb still, uh, the, the, the word still means that she's still looking for her glasses. Which number? Uh, number uh, 10. Uh, 10. 10. Gran, gran steel. Aha. Uh -huh. So what does that so, tell you? That he hasn't found her. She hasn't steel. found. Found her glasses. Yes. That is correct. Found. Doesn't found. Hasn't. Hasn't. Uh, hasn't. Still hasn't. So Granny still hasn't found her glasses. Ah, okay. Ella todavía no ha encontrado sus glasses. Exactly, exactly. Okay, so uh, number 11, where do you buy your laptop? Where did you buy your laptop? Where did you yes. buy? Where do you buy your laptop? Okay, what about you, Gilberto? The next one, 12. Okay. Um, um, oh, you... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on. Kitchen. I like paint. the color. Yeah, paint. Them. Yeah, you have paint. What about you, teacher. teacher? The next one. Teacher, we have a question with the number three. Number three. Yeah. Uh huh. Which it's which? A, uh huh. Say word. You be last weekend. So it's it's an action that is over 
because you can you you will not gonna do it again exactly so the the answer will be or, or the correct form where, where did you be or where have you been last week okay uh none of the two and let me explain why uh, uh teacher we also can say about uh where 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 you been last weekend ah, no it's about being no, uh -huh. no. It's be or been okay listen to this if you're mentioning an action you're supposed to say did if it's a condition you're supposed to use verb to be so if you want to say donde estuviste you need to say where were you where were you last weekend where were you yeah so you don't need to say did you don't need to say been all you have to do is use the past form of verb to be and you say where were you last weekend is, is that clear yes is the the pass of b exactly Where? because it's a condition when you say i was in the park yesterday what is the action there is no action it was a condition so i said i was at the park yesterday mm -hmm. now if i want to mention an action then i have to use a verb so in this case it's a condition so i use verb to be Okay. Okay. All right. What number are you at right now? Thirteen. All right. Thirteen. What time you get home last night? Okay. We're going to return to the main session because I have to explain a, a, a few things. Okay. All right. Okay. Teacher, you are in your microphone. You're teacher. mute. We can't hear you, teacher. In the chat, maybe we can tell him. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Okay, uh, do you see this video where it says Higher College of Technology? Yes. No, teacher, I haven't. No. Yes, I want this. In class and present perfect. It's a very good one. But it doesn't have volume. It's not specific. Okay. Do you see this uh, part right here? Yes. yes. Okay, so the lady right here is mentioning um, points that are very important when you guys are using the present perfect. Present perfect is general. You never mention when. And like you guys were saying, when you talk about the present perfect, you're talking about an action that starts in the past, but it's not finished Control. yet. So in other words, it's unfinished. It's unfinished. It's unfinished. Okay. Okay, if we compare the two, you see that the present perfect general 
Okay, do not mention when it happened. The simple past is completely different. You're very specific. So you need to say last year, 10 months ago, at 1 p.m. today. So you need to mention when it happened. And uh, the action is finished. Are we okay here? And now I don't have or say it didn't happen. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so what is the contraction of I have? What is the contraction of she has? So remember, wh whenever you use the present perfect, always try to use contractions as much as possible. Because uh, you go to New York, Chicago, Ontario, whatever, when people talk, they do use contractions. So you have to use contractions as well. As you can see, I have read a book. I've read the book that's very general. If you want to be very specific, then you use the simple class. I read the book last month. General, I've done my project. If you want to be very specific, you said I did my project two weeks ago. So if you're only giving the, the information, you use uh, present perfect. If you want to be very specific, then you need to mention when, but if you mention when, then you have to use the simple past. Is that clear? Yeah. 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 Or, okay. <laughs> Okay, so if you see this here, uh, it doesn't matter if the information is positive, negative, or question, the form of the verb is always, it's always past participle. Past participle. It's always past participle. Now, when you use the present, when you use the simple present, uh, sometimes you have to put s, sometimes you have to put es. When you use the simple past, sometimes the verb is base form, sometimes it's in past. Now, when you use the present perfect, you don't need to worry about much information because you use the same verb. Positive, negative, or question, the form of the verb is always the same. Okay, so look here. Um, when you're saying something positive in the past, the form of the verb has to be in past. If you're saying something that is an action, you have to use didn't or you have to use did. So did you eat lunch? Did you visit the doctor? Did you go to work? Now, if you want to talk about conditions, then you have to use was or were. Were you at the park yesterday? Were you at work today? Was she in the hospital? So once again, if you're talking about actions, you have to use did. If you're talking about conditions, you use was or were. Mm. Again. Okay. Okay. So the lady, she's saying that this is impossible in the present perfect. Why? Why is it impossible to mention a time expression in the present perfect? Because it's a specific time. Because if you want to be specific, you use this. And with the present perfect, we don't need to be specific. We just need yes. the information, but we need to mention when. So that's why you cannot use this. I've been there when I was young. I've been there yesterday. 
Okay, so this is impossible. You can use this in the simple past, not in the present perfect. Okay, so this is vocabulary uh, that we use when we're using the, the, the present perfect. Recently and lately, they just give you an idea, but they don't tell you exactly when something happened. So you say recently. Recently can be five minutes ago. It can be yesterday. It can be last week. You're not being specific. The same thing with lately. Um, remember the function of just? <laughs> recently happened. Something that, recently, Something that happened. recently happened. Now, ever, remember, we use ever only for questions. Only for questions. Never is literal, is, is, is negative. And then we had the differences between already and yet. Uh, can you please remind me what the differences are between already and yet? Okay, so w when do we use already? Already, beginning, at the beginning or in the middle, and even at the end of the... When you are working on, the, on that activity. When you're finished with the activity. And it can be at the beginning, in the middle, when, or at the end. Or at the end. When the activity is finished. Okay, good. And what about yet? You are not a start to work at the end. You haven't finished. Has not finished yet. Okay, have not finished. something that is still in progress. Something that is still in progress. So that is yet. And yet goes at the end. It goes at the end. What would be the answer for that one? Have you ever been to the UK? Have you ever been to No, I haven't. No, I haven't. No, or? I haven't. Or I never been. I have never been to uh -huh. the UK. I never been. Or you, if I've it's positive, been. you say, yes, I have a couple of times. Yes. I been there every year. And... <laughs> Why did we there? I just come back. I travel every two years, two hours. I am in there. Okay, so here you have three mm -hmm. examples. Uh, have you ever been to the UK? You say, yes, I have. No, I haven't. It doesn't matter if the information is positive or negative. If you want to give additional information, then you have to use the simple past. Are we okay here? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So. so okay. Let's finish doing this. Let's see. Where's this document? Mm -hmm. So one question before yes. we finish. Sure. Uh, so we can use the two ways to answer. We can be a specific or not a specific. And, yes. and 
the the important thing to do is with how we use the verb the structure right. the structure right. of the so, sentence now remember here um, this is grammar but when you're using grammar in a real life situation your answer can be in different forms you can even uh, have you ever been to the UK? No, I haven't, but I will be there this December. So you're using future. So it's, uh, Martin, it's your decision which one you use. Now, if we're, if we're having an exercise and this exercise is um, connected with grammar only, then you have to do exactly what they're telling you with, uh, with the instructions. Now, once again, in a, in a real life situation, in a real life situation, you uh, you answer any time you want. Any other questions here? People? No. I'm clear. Okay, so let's do this real quick. You see the page? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So let's finish doing the the last three uh, sentences, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Well, actually, you guys finished in different uh, different questions. So let let me see this here. So let me break rooms uh, one more time, and we're almost finished. Answer. Teacher, I'm sorry, what's the question? Uh, you have to... About, about nine, Agatha Christie. Okay, uh, you guys got to do um, the ones you didn't do the first part of the exercise. The first part? No, the ones you didn't finish. But no, we only no. have like two more minutes, so which one were you doing before? Uh... Uh, until number 15, 15 I think. 15. 15. Okay, so then. do 17. Sue's not here. She was out. She went out. She went out. Who's not here? She went out. Uh huh. What about 18? The weather was. What? Wasn't, 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 it wasn't, good. wasn't very nice. Hi, teacher. Uh, Mr. Vides, yes, how can I help yeah. you? Uh, <laughs> we don't have the picture about the last three questions. Okay. Three sentences. You see it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. If in the WhatsApp okay. group we, we can see the last three sentences. Yeah, I, it, it was my mistake. You're right. Until the picture, until the sentence is the same. Okay. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. We don't have much time left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're ready to capition, okay? Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay, guys, what about the number 18? The the, the, weather, weather, the weather wasn't was wasn't not very good last week. Wasn't very good last week. Was not very good last week. Wasn't very good last week. Yeah. Wasn't very good. Yeah. What about the next one? Nineteen. Martin. We be to the cinema twice this month. We have been to the cinema twice this month. Uh, I think is we went. We went to the cinema twice this month. Nosotros fuimos. We went, went, yeah, right. Ah, no, 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 don't fast, worry. Huh? No, 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 no. It's specific. Because we have, yeah, the, the base form is, uh, the, the, the verb is be. be. Yeah, it's not go. 
So we have. You are right. So we have. Yeah, we have been. So you are right. I'm sorry. You are right. We have been. Twice this month. Twice this month. Twice this month because been... this month is not finished yet. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. We'll go back to the main. The time okay. has come. Time yeah, yeah. There. Okay. So I'll be seeing you tomorrow, same place, same time. Okay. Thank you, Dishar. Have a good night. We continue tomorrow. Okay, okay. thank you. Good night. Bye-bye.